Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Brad and this is World of Warcraft Legion. I'm back on my Warlock and I'm sitting on my class steed and uh, I'm on the Broken Shore and I've got a whole bunch of quests all over the zone. Uh, there were a couple more boss skulls up but uh, it looks like my map might be bugging out again. But uh, let's get going and start doing some of these quests. At the time of recording this, this is a Monday night so the uh, next raid tier for the prisoners are being held in this area. Tomb of Sargeras Do whatever tomorrow. you must to free them, champion. I've got my trusty bodyguard with me, who's one of my minions from my order hall. Oh, Somebody is just ahead of me. Believe it or not, the bodyguards do help out a lot. Uh, tank bodyguards, I find, are a little underpowered. I tend to uh, take aggro away from them very quickly. But luckily, this guy's just a caster, so it's not a big deal. One thing I love about my minion too is I could just send him into the fray and just fire and forget. Don't have to look at him again. Ah, uh, somebody just killed the boss. Okay, if he takes too long to spawn, uh, we'll just fade out and fade back. Nope, nope, there he is. Some soul out of him. Thanks to your effort. The prisoners have both their freedom and their lives. Well done. Oh, there's imps. Alright, we'll just run down here. Might as well hit these imps while I'm at it. Let's get out of here before they respawn. If you're planning on playing World of Warcraft and you haven't played it before, uh, Warlocks are a good, a good caster class to start off with. Because once you get your Infernal, uh, if you don't have your Infernal, you can use, like, you have a tank, basically, a tank minion. And as long as you're careful, uh, you'll be good, like, in any situation, pretty Another much. Lord. One of our Warlocks has opened a portal to a Legion carrier brimming with demons. Ooh, I suggest carrier. you show these vermin what it means to be the puppet of a greater power. Okay, let's go through. I will show no mercy. All takes to my fell guys are respawning way too fast, and I think the boss is downstairs anyway. This is where you die! Oh yeah, I have to enslave a dread soul. Um... I'm gonna lose my minion here. I wonder if I can do it. No, I can't. I have to do it with a demon. Okay, so this gets a bit complicated because I have to enslave one of these guys. Well, my minion will disappear and now I have this guy. 
I just have to use him to attack the boss. Oh, and I have to kill eight demons. Okay, I'll go after the boss first. He's the most important. this because the demon will only stay enslaved for so long and even when the enslavement ends uh, there is a point where uh, there's depreciating returns I believe we will cleanse the universe in fire <laughs> typically do, uh, I guess I could kill this demon as my last one, but I usually just kill the last guy with this demon and I just walk through the portal. Yes, yes! Not so fun to be on the receiving end, is it? Legion scum! You might get a single whack on me as I go through the portal, but... Okay, and we're out of the portal. Next, uh, corrupted eggs. Oh, let's go after the imps. See, another uh, boss disappeared. Broodwalker, I can go after as well. Let's go after the Broodwalker first. He's a little bit more dangerous to fight, and he may end up killing me. This is my first time bringing a bodyguard with me, too. I rarely do this. But it's worth it. He's gaining a good amount of XP. More than he would just doing generic... Uh, generic order hall missions. Uh, let's try to... Let's try to not aggro all these guys. Let's go after him. Oh yeah, he has silence abilities. Forgetting about that. Be able 
to kill him reasonably fast. Get out of here before we aggro anything else. Uh, we could check to see if there's any portals open. We can also do call to battle. Yeah, there's no portals open right now. Okay. They come in intervals. Oh, finally, the Cadgar coin quest isn't there. Now it's a call to battle, or call of battle. I have to kill 16 Legion forces, uh, 8 defenses need to be destroyed, and Gorlok and Flesh Grinder to die. behind their defenses. Take my blessed hammer and slay them! This one's mine! right here. Those purple explosions you're seeing, if you're watching this on desktop, you should be able to see it pretty clear. Those purple explosions are uh, a little trait I have where every time an enemy dies to my abilities, he explodes and does an AoE. Actually, let's go after these guys. I can't remember which ability it is. 
The other guys that take a little bit more to kill. Reminding myself to look up. Six out of eight defenses destroyed. One more. Uh, let's go. Oh. Herb. Must harvest. this home without aggroing anything. Killing these guys. Oh, actually, I'll just go after these guys instead. It not accepting the last defense. Hmm. Maybe it's the crystal? <laughs> yeah, it's well crystal. done, hero. The tales of your deeds will be sung within the halls of valor. Weird. I thought the uh, orbs flying through the air, or the. I don't even know what they're called. The obelisks. I thought they were defenses as well. Apparently not. Who knew? Let's go after Zarthos. Might already be somebody fighting him, but we shall see. This guy can be tricky to kill. Somebody fighting him? Yes, somebody's already fighting him. Okay, let's go to town on him. <laughs> These, this uh, shadow volley, which is, it fires uh, shadow bolts out at everyone within a certain range. So you need to be careful. Just a little bit careful when you're around him. If you don't have much health, you're going to get screwed. But uh, we're coming up to 20 minutes, so we're going to call it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.